Hello, it's Sienna. I am going to be showing you guys today how to custom package your own canvas paintings. I have a painting that is 16 by 20 inches. I usually use a little bubble mailer to package my small paintings, but when I do get an order for a larger painting that cannot fit in one of those, I do make my boxes completely from scratch, custom fit to fit the canvas perfectly. And in this video, you guys will see exactly how I do that. So you guys can do that as well. So without further ado, here is me making a box to ship my canvas painting. So I'm going to show you how I will be packaging this painting. And since it is a little bit larger than what I can fit in my bubble mailers, which is how I usually ship 8x10, 9x12 sized paintings. I will actually be making a custom box so I can ship this to the Netherlands for a client that discovered me on TikTok. By the way, if you'd like to follow me on TikTok, my name's right here. Oh, by the way, this is Spy. He's one of my new TikTok friends and I painted him on TikTok. Uh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm a TikToker now. I'm packaging this painting. I'll show you how to make a box. So the supplies you need is actually super easy because all of this can be found at the Dollar Tree. So so first off, you're gonna need some foam core board. You're probably only gonna need about two, maybe three pieces, depending on the size of your painting. The one that we're shipping today is 16 by 20 inches. So two pieces should be just fine for this. The other supplies you're gonna need is packaging tape, like this. Scotch will do, or any off-brand, who cares? Just make sure it sticks. You're gonna need some bubble wrap, like this. They sell bubble wrap at the dollar store, but I tend to need a lot more than the sizes they carry, so I actually get mine from Amazon. Or this stuff actually came in a package from one of my bridal shower gifts. By the way, I'm getting married soon. If you get bubble wrap in the mail, make sure to keep it and save it for when you're packaging artwork. And then the last thing you're gonna need is packaging paper, just to wrap the whole thing at the end, make it look nice. So here's how to start. We have our piece of foam core board on the ground here, and we're just gonna lay our painting on top of it to measure. So now we have it laying on the foam core board to make sure we have space on all four edges to flip the sides up to be the sides of the box. We got our edges, and this painting is not very thick. It has about a three quarter inch width so our edges only need to probably be about one and a half inches on each side to make room for the bubble wrap in the middle as well so I actually found this method from another YouTube video which I will credit and I will include in the description of this video I do it a little bit differently than it is done in the video so let me just show you exactly how I do it so first I have my painting laying down here and then I just take my ruler and I try to figure out exactly how thick I want my edges to be. Like I said, I'll probably do about an inch and a half. You're gonna choose a number that works for you depending on the size of your painting and how much bubble wrap you're gonna use. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to be measuring one and a half inches on each side and drawing guidelines that match up with that. And I'm just gonna move this guy aside so I have more room. So I did these three sides. And I have not measured anything over here yet. I'm gonna put the painting back on here and see exactly where I need to make that guideline and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So now that I have my painting lined up with my guidelines, I still need to draw the line on top. So at this point, I'm just gonna eyeball where I'm gonna put this line. So I'm gonna put the ruler up where I might wanna put my top line. And like I said, I wanna make sure there's room in between my painting and the ruler. Your lines are not actually touching the painting, but there's a little bit of room on the inside like this. So I'm gonna put my ruler about right here like this so if we move the painting now we have our guideline right here next step is to draw a one and a half inch border right along that line as well so this will be our fourth edge and now we got something like this all right guys so at this point I just want to show you something I'm just gonna promote my patreon real quick and if you ain't got no interest in that just skip ahead like 20 seconds but I do have personalized stickers that I make completely for my own designs oh these are backwards I send these out to my patreon members every single month it's five dollars a month you get a sticker and you also get a personalized handwritten thank you note from me and you also get access to a whole bunch of downloadable coloring pages for my designs as well or you can even just join for one dollar a month and get a whole bunch of coloring pages and access to coloring contests for prizes we already did one coloring contest and the person who won did get 30 pounds cash as a prize there are prizes to be won on patreon and if you'd like to join the link will be in the description down below thank you for your time let's get back to the tutorial all right so we're back with our foam core border here we have our guidelines and now we're going to be cutting here we got a box cutter any box cutter will do and i will be cutting on my rug i really recommend using a mat this is an old rug, it's trashed, so I don't mind if I cut through the rug a little bit. That's fine with me, but make sure you're cutting in a place that is safe to cut on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off all this excess 
right here. As you can see, this little spot right here is one of the sides and everything here, we're not gonna need. So we're just gonna trim this all off right here. And then you're gonna remove this piece. We don't need this. Chuck it to the side or use it for something else. Now, this will be the main structure for our box. At this point, you're not gonna be cutting off really anything else but you're gonna be scoring your guidelines that you drew in the pencil. And by scoring, that means you're gonna cut it, but not all the way through. I apologize, by the way, my rug looks very dirty, but it's just paint. I just vacuumed this right before I filmed the video. We're gonna go ahead and score the edges. Again, do not cut this all the way through. And you're just gonna to wanna to score it right on the pencil line that you drew. Now that we scored everything, now you can actually cut something off. You can cut these corners off. All right, so now that we've removed the corners, we can chuck these aside as well, clean it up later, and now you're gonna have something like this. Now this is the satisfying part. So now you have your foam core board, you can see the pencil lines here, where you cut lightly, and you're gonna flip this over. So now the side you're looking at has no guidelines. Now the satisfying part is, is you're gonna take your side, and you're gonna just grab it and flip it up. And now you're gonna do that on all of your edges and all of your sides. And you kinda wanna do this carefully. And now, you're just gonna wanna tape all your corners together like this. So here we have our tape, but I just take a small piece, lay it on one of the corners like this, hold these together and connect it to that side. So when I have it taped, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna do that on all four corners. Now, one thing I know some people prefer when they're shipping paintings is they would like their edges to be much thicker than this so they can fit a lot more protective material like bubble wrap and airbags inside of their package. I don't really like to do that much because I have found in my experience that just what I'm doing works just fine. I have shipped over 600 canvases and in that time I only had two packages damaged in the mail. And each of those instances was easily resolved because I did have insurance through the post office and I was able to get reimbursed for the damaged packages. I just would rather not waste extra materials and extra bubble wrap to ship bigger, heavier, more expensive packages. I've just found that in my case it works just fine to do it this way but it's personal preference. If you do want all that extra padding, go right ahead. I just found that in my experience, it works to do it just like this. And with our other piece of foam core, which I have right here, we're gonna make the lid. Take the second piece of foam core, lay it down on the ground. I'm gonna take my box that I just made and measure it right along the edges of my second piece of foam core. Take your pencil again and just trace along the other edges. So hold that in place and just draw a line over here, draw a line right here, and now we have two guidelines to show exactly how big our lids gotta be. We're gonna set our box aside and grab our box cutter once again and just cut all the way through on our two guidelines. So now we have removed our lid and I do have a piece of sticker right here and I'll just take that off for presentation. We're gonna set those aside and now we're gonna make sure our painting is all packaged very securely with a lot of bubble wrap. So I'm gonna lay out my bubble wrap and then I'm gonna put the painting right on top of it and I personally like to put it upside down first and curl up the edges. So when you have a painting like this, you really wanna make sure you're protecting the sides and the inner wooden frame because this is usually what breaks. I know you might think that the the center part might get stabbed, but usually it's the sides that need the most protection and the corners, so that's what you're gonna make sure of. So I'm gonna set my box down like this and put the painting with the bubble wrap inside, upside down. And for extra protection, I will be putting some more layers on the inside of the canvas as well, like so. And now we're gonna put our business cards and decorative stuff in there too. So what I will be putting inside of my package is I have this little card that says, it was such a pleasure to make this artwork. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And it has my name signed at the bottom. So we're gonna lay that right there. And I also have all my business cards. This just has all my contact info on it. So we're gonna put that there and we're also gonna give them one of my stickers as well. This is a little extra gift. And I will actually be putting this stuff under this layer of bubble wrap. And when you put your lid on, you're gonna wanna make sure everything is tucked in really nice. You're gonna wanna make sure your bubble wrap's not sticking out. Everything is in place. And to do this, you might just wanna use a couple pieces of tape, which I will actually be doing. Go ahead and tape the corners down. And now we're gonna put our lid on. And by this, we're just gonna set it there, measure it on all the sides, and then tape it in place. 
I like to start by taping it on all four corners. So now we're taped all on every single edge here. And now to make it pretty, we're gonna wrap it in packaging paper. So here I have a roll of packaging paper. Now you're gonna wrap this just like you're wrapping a present. Bring this side up, make sure you pull it really tight. If you have a person to help you, I suggest doing that. So when you tape it down, you're gonna want, really wanna make sure you have the paper as tight as possible around your package. And then I'm gonna take more tape and just put it all across this entire piece of paper here. So I fold in the corners into a little triangle shape, flip this up and tape it right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And there we go, we have our painting completely packaged. So we finished it up. It is very safe and sturdy in here, but just to make sure, we do wanna make sure we're adding fragile stickers as well. So I'm gonna take one, put it on the front. We're actually gonna put two on the front in the opposite corners of each other. So we're gonna put one right here and one down here as well. So it's looking like this. And then I'm also gonna put one right in the back, right in the middle. All right, so this is the back, this is the front, and then now we just need to put our shipping label on, which I will do right here, and I will print that off camera. And if you guys need tutorials about how to do shipping labels, I'll do that in a completely different video, but just let me know if you want that in the comments and I'll make it for you. All right, we're back. So I just put on the label. I'm going to cover it up so you guys can't see it, but I have my label right here. It is international. And then I also just have, I'll blur this out, but I also have my little logo sticker right here, just as an added touch that I like to put on my packages. And this package is done and is ready to get shipped out. And I have a package pickup scheduled, so that's something you can do for free. And when they come deliver the mail, they will pick up this package right outside my door. So let's go do that. All right, so I have two packages that I'm going to have picked up today. There's the painting I just packaged up, and that is a paint by number kit I'm sending out as well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you have any specific questions relating to this, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have something else in mind that you totally doesn't relate at all, go ahead and ask that too. And um, thank you for watching. I hate outros. All right, bye guys. Thank you.